Hello everyone and welcome back to Crucial Farms. Today, I was gonna show you all real quick this guy. This right here in my hands. This, whether you know or not what this is, this is a praying mantis egg sac. Right there. A praying mantis egg sac. And uh, a bunch of what they call nymphs will come out of here. Well. Uh, we know of these, my wife and I do, and uh, last year we noticed one on a Serrano pepper plant. Oh, watch out for Scrappy Cat. On a Serrano pepper plant. So we, I removed it by cutting the branch of the pepper plant. It was already, the pepper plant was long dead. And I put them over here with my bonsais. So come check this out because today one or more have hatched. I think it's only one, but they are everywhere, these little nymph guys. And they are tiny. So we'll have to look very closely and see here. But if you look right down in here, you can see them moving. So they go and hide because they're worried I'm a predator of some kind. So let's see if we can find, ah, here's one here moving. Focus. Here's a bunch of them right here on this branch. There, you can see them. There we go. Those are the nymphs. Now, if I get my finger in here, you can see the size difference of me to them. They are super, super tiny. Focus. There you go. Probably right now, maybe a centimeter in length? Two centimeters? I'm not sure exactly, but there are... They are everywhere. There's a guy. Hanging out. Alright. There he is. But yes, I went ahead and I just found that one that's on the stick that I just found right here. I'm going to go ahead and stick this one in this pot and hope that you can see them right up here on the top playing in the sun. And I hope that this will encourage them to hang out and hang around and we'll have lots of them. They are very beneficial to the farm. Just like ladybugs and other things, they eat the bad bugs. So yeah, so if you find those in your yard, those egg sacs, look up pictures of them so you can really see much better what it looks like. Collect them, save them, and around this time in spring, they know when to hatch. It's also a great, uh, a great way to know when it's time to, you can plant stuff outside because you know there's not gonna be any more frost because that's what they wait for to hatch. Mother Nature knows. It's a good way to tell here in zone seven because these guys, well, freezing temperatures would kill them. So yeah, they only live to be uh, about 11 or 10, 11, 12 months old, something like that, and they die. So yeah, awesome. Thanks a lot, hit that subscribe button, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna get back in here to the greenhouse, and uh, well, I got 300 tomato plants in the next couple weeks, I gotta get out, and 150 plants of hot peppers that need to go out. So from us here at Crucial Farms, we just want to say, well, get growing something. <laughs>